Hey guys, I'm coming today to uh, from my kitchen rather than my garage. Just felt like an at home day. I'm thinking about my friends who don't have sewing machines, <clears throat> Dawn, and I'm realizing that maybe a couple of other people don't. And so I came up with a way to do a mask without a sewing machine, still out of a t shirt. All you need is one t shirt and a safety pin and a pair of scissors. The safety pin doesn't stay on the mask, the mask is purely made out of t shirts. Let me show you what it looks like. I mean, we're not going to the mask prom or anything, but you get this. And then when we add the extra strap later, you get a nice fitting mask that already has the, believe it or not, there's some shape of the nose there. So I'm just going to walk you through it. I'm going to make a second one out of the same t-shirt and show you how I did it. Don't judge how out of place my pictures are in the background. Okay. I'm going to just push you down, uh, point you down here to the t-shirt and walk you through it. Okay. It should be easy. Okay, so I've got a t-shirt, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna cut off the sleeve. This is a man's, probably extra large. Yeah, this is a man's extra large. Probably you need at least a man's large t-shirt. I haven't tried a women's t-shirt yet. Just find some old t-shirt, and I'm cutting here on the, um, the outside of the seam. So we don't want to deal with anything that somebody else has sewn before us. So we're just going to cut it right along the line of that line of that seam. You see what I'm doing there? Just going to cut it. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this out. This is going to be my mask, basically. I'm just cutting off the sleeve. But I noticed that there was this natural shape, nose shape that everybody else is cutting out with the pattern. Patterns make my teeth itch, and so I never can do anything with the pattern. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside for now. I don't want you to just see this. If you take the sleeve and you make the uh, make that armpit seam, put it in the center. Let me see here. Oh, hmm, it's a little finicky. There we go. So you'll notice that this part doesn't match, right? You don't pull it down to the bottom. Let I just spit on my fingers to make it move. Try to get that thing into the closest to the center as you can. I'm going to check it by folding it over. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Okay, you got the idea. Now this is the body of our mask. Thumbs up. Going to set that aside. Now I'm going to get my t-shirt back and I'm going to go to the bottom of the t-shirt. Now on this one, I already cut off the seam piece. Hmm, where did it go? Hmm. Oh look, it's here. I cut this off already. I don't know, it was finished and I thought I'd use it for something later, but it doesn't stretch the same, so I'm gonna put it aside. So you've got the bottom of your t-shirt with the seamed part already cut off. Pretend I did that. And then we're gonna cut here, and we're gonna cut a kind of skinny one. So like a half an inch, which is like, I don't know, for me it's like the end of my thumbnail. None of this has to be super pre precise. No one panic. I'm going to cut one long, long piece of this stuff. It's about a half inch wide, kind of from the tip of my thumb to the top of my thumbnail. No need to worry about perfect precision. The thing I love about a t-shirt is that you can do a gazillion things with it. And one of the things it can do is make a kind of thread or string. I'm gonna just keep cutting. So I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. I hope everybody's doing okay. It's kind of crazy times, but making stuff helps our souls. And now we're in the situation where we need these masks. And uh, this one's gonna help people without sewing machines. So I'm still cutting. Look at this. So I'm gonna get a half inch length, excuse me, half inch width piece of t-shirt string. I'll show it to you. I love this part. There we go. Then I'm going to pull it. This is the best experience ever. Look at that. And when I do that, I make this long, wonderful piece of t-shirt string that we're going to use as thread. Awesome. So now I really got what I need. I'm setting my t-shirt aside. Scissors out of the way. I got my one chunk of thread and I got my one sleeve. Still looks a little funky, wonky, wonky to me. Let me try to center that. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so this mask is going to fit on us. 
this is our mask basically you can't really see me on here we're gonna go like that it's kind of like i dream a genie right different sorry so we are going to rather than sew we're going to go old school preschool style and we're going to weave it just like you did with those cards and the yarn so get a pair of scissors and just do your best here the closer you get together the better it'll be but what I do is I just take a little bit of t-shirt and I fold it like that and then I cut a little slit. Make sure you cut through all the pieces of the t-shirt. Now the smaller I can get that the better. Oh, that's like a C plus. And then I'm going to go over a little bit. I may be going over a half inch, you know. My seams are a little bit big but you could maybe even try to do it smaller. You get the idea though. You're about, I don't know, again you're about a half an inch a thumbnail down from the top and you're just pinching it right there and making a little slip. See how we're doing this? You know where we're going with this, right? We're going to weave this. Here we go. Yeah, making slits. Do that all the way across. There we go. Here we go. So now I've got that that um, sleeve piece and I've got these little holes all the way through it. So I'm going to take my thread. Here we go. So I'm going to go through. Now you might find that a safety pin would help. If these are big enough, you don't need them. But I used a safety pin before. If you have a hard time doing this weaving piece, then put a safety pin on the end. But you see, I'm just going over and under, over and under. So sort of like we're sewing with thread, except we don't have a needle. There we go. See what I'm doing? Over and under. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's preschool sewing. Okay. Over and under some more. Let's go all the way through here. Okay. Because now, you know, I'll just say it. These are not N95s, everyone. We don't take these into a sick room, but what we do is wear them out and about. If you're still going to the store, please put this on. It'll keep you from coughing on the rest of us and also from touching your face, which God, I never knew how much I love to touch my face until this all came around. Okay, so now we've got that. This is gonna cinch up in front of our face to make it tight. Okay, so I've got this. Now I'm gonna do some more slits. I got my scissor back and I'm gonna cut, I don't know, the thing is half inch. Below my preschool thread line there, I'm gonna cut another little slit. And one down here. So. We've got the hemmed edge of the sleeve, so I'm gonna cut it right above the top of that hemmed edge. Just a little slit on both sides. Slit here, about a half inch down, slit there. I'm gonna take that piece that I had cut in half, I'm gonna cut it in half again. And I'm gonna make the strap so this thing sticks on my ears. So I'm going from the underneath, from the inside of the sleeve, I'm gonna go out. And then I'm gonna go back in, up on the top. And you'll see I'm just making like a an ear holder. And then I pull it inside and I tie it. Great thing about this is you can adjust it to your own face. So I'm gonna take a guess about how the size of my own face. I'm gonna tie a knot. There's no sewing to be done. I'm just gonna tie a knot in that. Let me show you what it looks like. So then I've got, look at there. I got an ear strap. So I got the top of my mask and an ear strap. I'm gonna do that on the other side. I'm gonna leave these guys alone because these we're gonna tie around the back of our head. So here I go. From underneath, I'm gonna go out here. And then I'm gonna go through here. There we go. Okay, okay, you guys are gonna do great. Okay, and I'm making a knot. Nothing precious here. And you know the kind of cool thing about this, I think, is that you could do this with a kiddo. Okay. Sometimes what I do is I check. The way I make things even is I check one thing I already did against the other. I don't have to measure anything, but evenness helps. So I'm going to go like this to see. How did I do? Hey, not bad. Those are about the same. Those are about the same size. But if yours are off, then go in there where that knot is and just adjust that knot. What do you know? We've got a mask. Now, for this thing to fit really well, probably what I should have told you to do, <laughs> make one more piece of thread. So I'm gonna take my t-shirt back here, and this is if you like things really tight, which I do on these masks. 
gonna put that one through. My t-shirt's kind of funky, so I'm gonna get that off of there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have another strap here. I like this on my other design because it makes the mask fit really tightly to your face. So go back to your t-shirt and make another piece of string. We were like, remember, half inch, that's our theme. It's a half inch mask, not really, okay. Okay, and then, no, see that's gonna bug me later right there, so I'm just gonna, can you still see me? There we go. That should do it. Always, yeah, that probably works pretty well. I'll take that, pull it to make my string, and then, when I put this thing on, I'm gonna put this behind my head, these over my ears, and I'm gonna put this through my ears here, and it's gonna pull them back and tighten it. And if you want, actually what I usually do is I measure about two thirds of the way over. And look at here, I'm just gonna tie a knot of this so I don't lose it. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna bug my ear. If I put this on and that bugs me behind the ear, I'll figure out another place to put it. But I'm just gonna do that so I don't lose the other piece of my mask. And then I'll show you how to put it on. You guys are amazing. Okay, moment of truth. Whenever I put these on, I feel a little claustro. Here we go, I got my long strings tied behind my head. And again, you guys, this is not for the mask prom. This is for the, oh no, I don't own a sewing machine and there's a pandemic. And then I got my ear holes, and I'm putting those over my ears. It's not a bad shape. Now I got this guy, I'm gonna take the long piece. And I'm gonna put it through here. See that, see that? Now I got these two. Check this out, wait, it's about to look really cool. Doctor, doctor, okay. What was her name? Daisy. Lactate 5 with D5 ringers. Okay. Emergency 51, okay, anyway. Here we go, and you can kind of fiddle with it. Seriously though, you did it. Good job. If you were confused, just watch it again.